Beauty friends, welcome back again. So happy you popped over again to see what I am up to today. For everyone who is new here, welcome. My name is Yanni and I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, I hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone here who is not subscribed to my channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and of course hit the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs. Like I always say, enough talking and let's jump into today's inspiration. So you see already on the table are the things we need again. We have, of course, our tumbler tile blocks. Are we going to use today some uh, cheap wood filler? It's a very cheap brand. So go ahead and find something which is the most cheapest because this one is only one euro 79 so it is very cheap i have here my container with everything i need scissors markers brushes um some twine some mud pots and of course my wood glue and we have some paint you can use any paint you like of course i have here my old saucer again with my old piece of kitchen towel so these are the main things i most of the time use all the time the only extra this time is the wood filler because i'm totally into the wood filler today uh, and of course i did it already on the my other channel the deco easy i did also some topiaries with this uh, wood filler and i'm going to try now to make some boxes with some lids on top so we will see how this will turn out for the first box we are going to make the bottom we are going to do six blocks and we're going to glue them on the longest side oh, you see already they're already wanting to go away <laughs> this is number three number four and number five and number six is the closure up you're going to squeeze it make sure that you have a nice straight line we're going to get another of six and we do the same this is one number two three four and the last number five and six is the closure up again we're going to squeeze it and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need and this way and then we're going to do again make sure feel with your fingers that you have everything fitting nicely together and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest so in the meantime while these two pieces of six are drying we are going to get again six blocks and we have already seven i see <laughs> we are going to do again on the longest side place them together and number four and again number five and we're going to give them also a little bit of squeezing and we're going to do the last set of six and we're going to place some glue and i use an always a very cheap brand wood glue of course you can do an uh, expensive one but i always say wood glue also glues with if, if it even is a little bit cheaper so maybe you can find it at dollar tree i don't know if you can find wood glue at dollar tree let me know in the comments down below here in the Netherlands we buy it also it uh, in a, sh a store which is similar like the dollar tree it's called the action i think you already know that and it's almost the same they have a lot of the same things but the only thing you always have is great ribbon at the Dollar Tree. And here in the Netherlands, ribbon is a very hard thing to find. I don't know why, but maybe Dutch people don't use a lot of a ribbon. I don't know. But that's why I'm a little jealous on you. Because you have the in every store, Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart, um, and maybe um, the other store. I can... Um, michaels and this kind of thing you have the greatest place where you can find beautiful ribbon so i'm really a little bit jealous of that and this is number four and five so we're going to make a row of five blocks we do this two times and this is the second one of five two three and number four and we're going to squeeze it and this way and we're going to wipe away the glue and we also had here in the Netherlands we were so lucky that we had uh, here the bed and body works we were so happy with the hand soap and 
everything but they already are disappeared because they already uh, couldn't make it here in the Netherlands. I think um, Dutch people don't uh, pay that much for candles, soaps and that kind of thing. Uh, I don't know and we were so lucky so we are so sad that both of the shops uh, are gone. So because Diane and I bought already so many uh, things there but also it is not uh, for the Dutch people I think. <laughs> So we have now two of six over here. We have two of six over here and two of five over here. We're going to give this a couple of minutes. So we're going to get the first two pieces of six. We're going to look for which are fitting the best. Maybe we have to turn it and this fits better. So we're going to do some glue on one side and we're going to glue them together until one piece because this will be the bottom. Of course, we're going to give it a little bit of pressure so we can fill up the gaps the most that we can. We wipe away the glue and we're going to give this also again a couple of minutes dry. In the meantime, but the bottom is dry, we're going to take the two pieces of six. You place them straight up this way. And we're going to do on the pieces of five, we do some glue on this side. And we do some glue on this side. We place it over here. We do some glue on this one and on this one. And we're going to place them inside. Of course, we place one over here. We place one over here. And we're going to place it up with this one. So we make a nice square out of it. Of course, we give it a little bit of pressure. And we're going to do it that we have a nice square. Of course, we work with it and give it a little bit of your time to make it totally perfect. So I'm going to let this dry in. So we gave it a couple of minutes, but of course it is not totally dry. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my bottom. And your bottom is, uh, if you have the same measurement, I think you will uh, from your blocks, because I think that uh, this kind of blocks are most of the time the same measurement. Then your uh, bottom is fitting on one side uh, perfectly and only on this side it needs just a little, little piece it fill, fills, uh, will be inside. But it is not a problem because you don't, almost don't even see it. But that's not a way to already go to your garage and get your jigsaw because that kind of little small piece you never get off. So I always say we're going to work with it. I'm going to place it on top of here and we're going to Make sure, give it a little bit of pressure, but be careful. And we're going to place it exactly in the middle. And we're going to let this dry. So we're going to let our box dry. What we're going to do, we're going to get six blocks again. Uh, four, five, six, and we have another six over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to glue them also in one row over here because we need a lid of the a box and we call it here in the Netherlands we call it dexel so it's a much different word dexel and we call it uh, of course uh, you call it box and we also call it uh, sometimes a dose of opbergdoos so much different words here in the Netherlands so we're going to squeeze it and we're going to push it together this way. And we're going to wipe away the glue like we did also with the box. And we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes again. In the meantime, while this two of six are drying, we're going to get two blocks. And another one of two. Another one of two. And another one of two. So we do on the tops, we do a little bit of glue. We're going to place them together on the tops and also over here. And number three. And the last number four. And we're going to give it a little bit of pressure. Make sure also again you feel with your fingers that you have it in the middle. And this will be very simple and easy boxes, but we're going to try to make it unique with the wood filler later. So the box itself, it will be not too uh, difficult. 
And we're going to give this a couple of minutes. Yes. We have our two pieces of six. We're going to lay one on the side and we're going to make one piece out of it. And again, place it down, squeeze it and try to fill up the open gaps if you have open gaps. And wipe away the glue. And we're going to give it a couple of minutes. So as you see, we uh, are going to take a pencil. We have the one piece of two pieces of six glue together. We have our two, uh, four pieces loose. What we're going to do, we're going to place one over here. We're going to place one, uh, of course, over here. And then you see already we have a little bit too much with two. So we're going to place this one a little bit backwards. We're going to place this one on the line. We place this one over here and we fill it in and around the line over here. Make sure that you don't have an overlay over here. And then we're going to very easy make the line over here this way. And now we're going to go to the garage and we're going to cut off this piece of the block because he needs to be squeezed in over here. And we do here the same. So and you see now we have two of the bigger ones and two of the smaller ones. What we're going to do, I did it with my jigsaw, but you can do it so easily with a hand saw. And I think you even have a tool which you can cut it if I am correctly. But I don't have that power in my hands to cut it anymore. So I am uh, always using my jigsaw from the Lidl. So I am doing it very easy. So I'm going to do some glue on the biggest one. We're going to glue it on top of here. Make sure that we have it on the ending. Feel with your fingers. And make sure that you have it in the line you need. That's always a little task because you can better look now one time extra. Then it is glued together and you think, oh my, this is not really pretty. That's not what you want. So this is already one. Now we take a small one over here and we're going to place it against this one. And be careful because everything is not totally dry yet, but it doesn't matter. Now we're going to get the other one, small one. And we're going to place it in the opposite direction because then I think the look is a little bit better. And this way just squeeze it and now we only need the longer one. And we're going to close it up with the bigger one. Very easy. We have to work with it so we don't get it. Things are falling off. Over here, squeeze it. And over here. And we're going to let this dry in. So now we have already the two pieces of the smaller box and we're going to lay it aside and we're going to let this rest. We are going to get 12 blocks and we're going to do this two times. Uh, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And over here we're going to do the same And this is easy measuring because we need the same length as we need on top. <laughs> so this is very easy. So we're going to do two times 12 and we're going to glue them together. I want this box uh, a little bigger than the other one because the one is a smaller. And I hope that we use the wood filler and then I hope it looks more like a ceramic box. But or some ceramic, maybe some... Um, concrete box at least it has to give a kind of a nice structure to us but we will see i am going to squeeze it from the inside out because or else they are popping everywhere at least i already had it many times so we're going to let this dry in before we're going to wipe away the glue and this is two and this is already the bottom of the first box and this takes a little bit more time I'm sorry I do it as fast as I can and the last number 11 and we're going to squeeze it from the in and we're going to go to the outside and we're going to wipe away the glue you see where they there is Over here, a lot of glue coming out and we're going to now very easy go with your hands and feel with your fingers 
and make a straight line and give it at least 10 minutes drying because this box is a little bigger. In the meantime, while well, these two are pieces of 12 are drying, I took 12 blocks again and another 12 blocks again and I'm going to repeat the same but I thought already I lay them already on the table so you don't have to wait until I'm counting them. <laughs> I, not everyone likes the, to hear me counting so I'm going to do all 12 and these are already the sides, at least two of the sides. We're going to do the last and then we're going to go for the smaller sides. They are not so many blocks. And we're going to do the last pieces. And number 11 and number 12 is again the closure. We're going to squeeze it from within and make a straight line. We do here the same. I almost did it wrong. Did you see it? I almost would, would do it this way. So again, we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest and then we're going to wipe away the glue. So in the meantime, while these two are drying again, I take the two pieces I already made. I'm going to do them on the side, make one line of glue and we're going to place them together and make one piece out of it. Feel with your fingers that you have them in a straight line and again press it together and you wipe away the glue which is coming out. So again fill in the open gaps and we're going to let this dry also. Now we're going to make the other sides but the smaller sides. So for the smaller sides we need five because it will be a longer uh, box and not a, a square box. But it will be longer, so I have two times five. And we're going to glue again very easy the sides. Number three and four and five is the closure up. We do here the same. And place together. And the last number four and again squeeze it and we're going to give it some moments rest so now we have two pieces of 12 and our two pieces of five we're going to one of 12 over here one of 12 over here we're going to place them in between we do the same we do some glue on the side and do on this side place them straight up we do with this one the same and on this side and we're going to place it down, place this one straight up and we're going to do this one over here and this one over here and we're going to fill it up with the other piece of 12 and we make a nice square. Squeeze it a little gently and then we're going to let it rest at least for a, a 10 minutes. So we're going to do the same, we're going to get the bottom and we're going to do again around the lines. So very simple and easy on the inside and we go over here and this side and then we're going to turn it on and we're going to place it lightly on top of here. this way and we're going to give it a little bit of shaping and then we're going to let it dry in the same like we did with the other one so I'm going to give it some pressure and we're going to let it dry so I place the box in front of me so he can dry we are going to get again 12 blocks on the table two times 12 and we're going to do very easy again some glue on the sides but I will do it a little bit faster for you so in the meantime while this two of 12 are drying we're going to get four blocks on the tops and we do four blocks again also over here and we're going to do two pieces of two so we're going to do not on the side we're going to do it on the top again because this will be the lid of our box 
And this is number four. Over here, number two. And number three and number four is, of course, the closure. We're going to squeeze them. And we're going to squeeze this one and make one piece. And make sure that you have it a nice line. I can't say it enough and I don't say it enough. <laughs> say it enough. Because you can already, just like Susan, you can dream it. <laughs> so, again, this one also. If there's... If you look at it too much to me, you even get nightmares from do this, do this, glue this, glue this, <laughs> glue this. So I'm going to let this rest in for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to get the two pieces of 12. We lay one on the side again and we're going to make a nice thin line with glue over here. And we're going to place them also against each other. And make sure that you have everything fitting nicely. And we're going to squeeze it and we're going to wipe away the glue and we're going to place it aside and let this dry in. And in the meantime, while this is drying, we're going to lay carefully one already on top of here. And you see already, if we place this one over here, you see already that one of two is again a little too long. So again, I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to cut off this piece over here. And I do here the same, place it over here, make sure that you have it in a straight line, and again, make a little mark over here, and we're going to cut this, and like I said, told you with the small one, you can easily use your handsaw. So again, we're going to glue one of the longer ones over here, and we're going to place them on this side, but that is already... You would already <laughs> know it if even when I didn't tell you the, over here. And we're going to do some smaller one. We're going to place it over here. We do the other one, of course, but in the opposite direction. Over here. And we're going to close it up with the other long one. over here and we're going to place it on top of here and you see already one of my pieces didn't go too well because he was a little bit too long i already see of too short <laughs> if you if you know what i mean he is a little too short so we have to work with it and make it fitting but that's DIYing also with a jigsaw it's always a little bit tricky to know exactly where to cut it over here and i'm just going to fill it in with this one so eventually everything will work and i'm going to let this dry also so if everything is correctly you have a, a smaller box and you have already the bigger box i'm going to make my box uh, the lid of course on top of here this way but you also can do some uh, little uh, metal uh, hooks on here and just that you can open it up but i don't do it i leave it open but you can uh, make it work that it, you can even can open it because it is very easy fitting on top of here of course i have to turn it this way is a little bit better <laughs> this way but of course do whatever you think is right i'm going to do a knob on top of here because i want to have mine a little bit more like a kind of a box but if you want to open it just to use it as an organizer be my guest and just uh, do the metal uh, hooks on the ending now we have our uh, two sizes of boxes but i thought maybe it is a nice if i can um, make them a little bit higher because i want to give them some feet so I think I'm going to go for two double up and two double up over here. So, and of course this way the same and over here, maybe I do here four. I have to look for if I like it or not. So, but first we're going to make, <coughs> this will be double up and this will be double up and this will be double up because we need four on this one. So very easy, some glue on the middle, place it on top some glue in the middle place it on top over here the same and this one and we're going to place it aside squeeze it and make a straight line 
here the same, squeeze it. And we do here the same. And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes because it's very uh, uh, drying very fast because you glue them on top of each other. So we have our four pieces. We do on the top a little bit of glue. And we're going to place them together. We do here some glue. And we're going to place them also together. Squeeze it. And this one, squeeze it. And then we're going to give it a couple of minutes and we're going to glue them on top of here. So I'm going to do some glue on the underside over here. And I'm going to place this over here. And we do here some... Oh, I hope I have it. No, I don't have this the right side. <laughs> of course. I don't need the glued side, but I need the widest side. I need some glue on. You see, not this side, but I need the full block side over here. And I'm going to place it on top over here. And we're going to give it some pressure over here. Make sure that you have it in a straight line. And we're going to do the other one the same. Give it some pressure. And again, make sure that you have it in a straight line. And we're going to let this dry. And now for the bigger box, I'm going to go for four high. Because I want to have him a little bit more higher than the other one. Again, four blocks and here four. So we're going to do the, the same. We're just going to build it on top of each other. And number four over, over here. This is already one. We just built one a little tower. Number two and number three will be on top of here. We do here the same. We are almost there. But of course, if you don't like the feet, you're totally free just to leave it. If you don't like this kind of things, it's fine. It's just something I like, but everyone has a different taste. Just look if you uh, have think it looks nice then you do it if you think it looks really horrible then you think how can she uh, come up with such, such a kind of thing then you don't do it so again place it down squeeze it and make a straight line and of course the last one and we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest for drying so i'm going to do some glue on the side and I'm going to glue them together and make sure that we get one nice piece. And we do here the same. And we're going to place also this together. Make sure that you get a one nice block over here. So we're going to let this rest. We're going to get the tops of our uh, boxes. And you see already I have some leftovers from the pieces we just Get cut out for making the border around it. So I'm going to glue two of them on top of each other. I have to look which are fitting the best to each other. Most of the times you, you can find two pieces. You see this one is fitting better. We're going to do some glue. And we're going to glue this one on top. And we do here the same. And then we don't waste any block because we don't like that. And I have here two blocks. Oh, already, I hope I get them off of each other. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. You see, this one is totally gone. He is did cut very awful. But I have two pieces which were very small. So I picked them out because I can't use them in my DIY. I'm going to do some glue. And I'm going to glue. Oh, of course, you see already I have much too much glue. I only need a little glue in the middle and I'm going to place this one when I did of course on top of here so I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure and this is already one I have here still a block I don't use and I'm going to make sure that this is glued very nicely together and I'm going to do some glue in the middle and so I make my own knobs for on top. Of course, you don't have to do, you can do some beads or something else. But 
I always love to use blocks I don't use, which are crooked or maybe uh, too small or something else. And then I can use it for my DIY again. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to glue them on top of here. So I gave it a couple of minutes. I'm doing some glue on the underside, a little bit more, and I'm going to place them in the middle. And I'm going to do here the same. And we're going to place it in the middle. Of course, it's very easy. You have uh, six blocks here, six here, and then you're going to find your way in the middle and give it some pressure. And we're going to let this dry. Now we're going to go further with our bigger box and we're going to do the feet under here. So also very easy. Do some glue over here. Place it on top this way. And we're going to do here the same. And we're going to place it on top of here. And again, we give it some pressure. And we do here the same, give it some pressure. And we're going to let everything dry. And if everything is correctly and you did this DIY, you have now also two boxes. And of course, what I'm going to do, and you can use them very simple as organizers for maybe your um, remote control or maybe something else, maybe in your craft room for little things. You can do it for anything. What you also can do is glue this one on the side, like I told you earlier. And with if you want to open and close it, you have to place some metal uh, uh, pieces on the back side. But I am still debating if I am going to use it as an organizer or if I am going to do it this way. I am still debating. I really don't know what to do. But first I'm going to do the outside with my wood filler. So it is very easy. This is a tube, but of course you also have them in buckets. Um, I'm going to get an old uh, brush and I'm going to a little bit of um, yeah, sticking it on top of my um, box and of course like i told you earlier i also did it already in the topiary i don't know on my other channel i don't know if i he is already uh, on there but probably when you see this it probably will <laughs> so i did it already and so you can give it a nice uh, different look with some different structure so i'm going to uh, get my saucer and i'm going to do some wood filler on top so i'm going to do some wood filler on top of my saucer you see already we are going to do a lot of this because we need a lot of this. <laughs> I'm going to close it up because it dries very fast. And of course, we're going to take it on the side and we just go over it and just make a little pattern inside of it, which you like. Everyone has a different taste, so just do whatever you think is right. And it's so much fun to do. I also said it in my other DIY. It is so much relaxing on <laughs> to give it a nice color of course i don't do the top and the inside because it's only for the outside so i'm going to fill this one in and i take my time for it you see already it's you just do something it is no rhyme or reason how you do it just the pattern you like and remind you later you will paint it over so if you have a pieces which are not totally in this in the wood filler it doesn't matter because later you are going to paint it so then it gets the color you want to have it so over here and we're going to do it of course we don't want to forget the legs and again go over it and give it a nice structure especially when the the borders where you glued it together and over here and of course we don't do the underside we only do the outside and we're going to just paste it on top and this like i said it is so much fun but i'm going to do it now the rest a little bit faster so you see already i have the little box in uh, with the uh, wood filler and now i'm going to do the bigger box and of course the top is also very easy just go over it and go over the knob so the knob doesn't look that he is glued on because you want to give it also a little bit kind of a ceramic look and you just go you paste it over it and you make sure that you get some nice shape in this and every time like i said remind yourself it still needs some painting afterwards when it's dried up so it doesn't matter if you forgot a little piece you are going to 
painted later also so it doesn't matter so i'm going to do the rest also from the big box so the wood filler is dried up and of course you see already it gives a nice structure and of course it, nothing is painted yet so we are going to uh, do some paint on top of here of course i'm going to go for my creamy color but you can go for black for silver for gold do whatever you think it's right so i'm going to take my very a creamy color and i do of course also a little bit of the inside because i don't know if i'm going to use it for the inside but i am going to paint everything in totally so everything is painted and of course i let it dry but you see in a moment the quick impression and you see finally a quick impression of my tongue and towel blocks cute little boxes of course they change so much with the wood filler on the outside it gives so much of a structure i am really happy with the result of course i hope you took out your tumblr towel blocks too and did this diy together with me of course i did it in the bakery scene but you can change it up any way you like and if you're only here to watch i hope you had fun watching again and everyone who is new here i hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you do i hope you will click the red subscribe button give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time i upload new diys for more diys come on over to my description box there you find the link for our diy channels hope to see you there and of course everyone have an amazing day and i hope to see you in the next one bye